Hey YouTube, this is in response to a, a post I saw where someone was trying to put up for sale and wondered what they were worth and they reckoned that they had Ibanez Super 7F pickups. The F stands for flat top, I think, which means it, it looked, they've got this EMG look on it. So these are the pickups that came standard in stock in my 86 Japanese Ibanez RG140. 140. I have to keep checking. Glad that sticker's still there. See the number of times I've looked at the sticker? For some reason I keep thinking it's going to be a 145. Yeah, so the story goes with all these things. You want hot pickups. Hot pickups are better. Hot pickups. Oh, hot pickups. Hot, 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 hot. No. Opposite of that, if you're me, anyway. So these come in at. It's actually my palm stuff, white snakes up here. Yeah, they're really low output. They're not even 4K. <laughs> it's up here. Yeah, it's just. Mr. White State doesn't know how to measure pickups. No, they are. They're like they're under 4K when you measure them. And a normal, that's like super low for a single coil pickup. So this guy in the comments of this, there's a few folk who chipped in there. Oh, just buy decent pickups instead. They're not worth anything. You know, you know all, all the usual. And then the first guy's, the guy's up here with, oh, with power, with, you know, with, with ohms like that, it'd be the weakest and shittest pickups in the world. It must be. And then... The guy selling them's like up here, yeah, but like the ohms kind of tells you about ten percent of the pickup. And the guys that up here, yeah, yeah, totally agree. If you just want something that's really weak and has no character whatsoever, and you can't and you're shit and you're shit at playing the guitar, then they'll probably be all right for somebody. And you're just like, you fucking condescending prick. Fucking a bit upgrade to any guitar. Um, even going for it sitting down there, but I can't. I just this shit sitting on top. It doesn't have strings on it. I've got the. Uh, my Ibanez Blazer has Super 6 pickups in it, which are, if you look at the, on, in the actual catalogue, it's like, these are the the most powerful single coil pickups that are made, including the famous aftermarket brand. You know, it's like, they're basically, yep. Yeah, they're more powerful than DeMarzo's. They're, most, they're the hottest ones. The thing about them is, though, the reason I decided I had to have a Blazer was because I was fixing one up for some, for uh, Tony and Blitzkrieg, and he had one, which is a higher model than that, which had Super Tap 6 pickups in it. Those are just super sick, so they don't have that tap wire. See, when you hit the tap switch, it makes them sound like these. And it, honestly, if I had the tap switch, it would be on all the time. I much prefer it. There is a place for the hotter single coils. If you're, like when I was in Kraken House, we played Judas Priest and stuff like that. So if I'm playing sort of Judas Priesty type stuff on single coil pickups, the hot pickups are better at that. If you're trying to play clean or anything that's meant to have single coil pickups in it. <laughs> No, there's just no character. Yeah, they're, 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 oh, pure weak and no character. I mean, I did a I did a test for all the a, a few guitars. I think it was a it was a test at all the roadsters and all the strats I had. And this is the best. This is the best as far as I'm concerned. The best single coil stratty sound guitar that I've got, and it's not even a proper strat. Um, it's also got a super seventy in the neck. The new the bridge. They knew what they were doing with this guitar. Um, so just watch out for the naysayers. Um, try these things out, or try, or maybe listen to somebody. Or even me just now, you know that I have. You don't really see any. There's, there's a strat in the corner. It's a Japanese one. It's actually a pickup kind of thing. But um, yeah, I've got like a couple of strats. You know, I've, I've had plenty of guitars with single coil pickups. I kind of know. I played them all. Not. I looked them up when I said. I looked at the. Oh, is this a good pickup? Hold on. Let me get the measuring. Let me get the multimeter out. See if it's a good pickup or not. And it's like, no. I use it. It's on the side of my. I know you can't see them because I've got hair in front of me. There's these. One there and one here, and they let sound into my head. That's how I make my decision about what they sound like. Mm. Although you can obviously just look up the internet and see what the forums say instead of doing that, or you could do both, and then maybe. But then, you, then you might not agree with what you might suddenly realise that. Hold on, other guitars of tone. It's not just Les Paul. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. 
Oh, tone wood, yeah. It's like, oh, yeah, totally. Oh, you got to have, you got to have maple and mahogany. You can't use basswood. No, it's like, no. That's what Alan Holdsworth wanted. You can't have bass, basswood. There's, you don't get any sustain with basswood. There's no sustain. I'll hit this note. Okay, I'll hit, I'll hit the lead and there won't be any noise, but... There's no sustain because it's basswood. So you can you... Can you you notice you can't hear the maple on it either, or the mahogany. It's like... Well, you've got distortion on with the single coils. I've been very aware of, I've been doing this thing, not not intentionally, I've been hitting the guitar differently, see there, you can hear the tremolo going, Brrr. which could be a reason for not liking tremolos, I did actually, I was actually wondering, I did actually put deadening springs on it, so... Yeah, I think that's maybe just one of the things, no matter how good your tremolo is. This is not necessarily a bad thing, but it's definitely got a brrrr going on when you hit it a certain way. It's all right when you... So it's got a brrrr. I wonder if that's maybe the big difference between a Strat and a Tele. Is it the fact, I mean, okay, normally in a Strat you can't quite hear it vibrating, but there's still an element of that, whereas a Tele is just a hardtail. I think really what I do is find a Tele and a Strat hardtail and put the two of them up against each other. But there you go. Lead must be backwards. No, I've never had issues with this um, before. This guitar before. Yeah. That's what I get for lending it out. David, you bastard, what have you been doing to it? I bet you it was that Doug licking it or something. Chances of it breaking right now. He's ducking the switch. I have to say that there is one of the things that I, I, do, I don't agree with on the, the original these eighties Japanese guitars is they use a an Oak Grigsby type switch and they're shit. It's the same. <laughs> Right sing that's an all right single coil sound. Even with the distortion on I've got a humbuck in the bridge with a super 70. It's a really good balance between the two the way. This is a, 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 a demonstration of the single coils, not the humbucker. So, there you go. So basically, have a wee... 
think about. Also, uh, there might be, I know this is, this will be tough to take, but also there's an element of taste in it. Um, I don't think that it could really be argued that these are weak or thin sounding pickups. I don't think you could argue that. I can understand some. it might not be, be your thing. You know, I mean, like I've said before, I'm not, I don't really get, I, I, I can't find a use for EMG pickups, active pickups, because they don't, they don't do anything that I want, if you know what I mean. Whereas, if you are into your active pickups, you want to pay my sugar, or whatever, I do know some modern bands, um, then, and you know, with your dual rectifier and tons of effects and all that stuff, yeah, you, there is a, a definite advantage of having EMGs. Something like these single coils might not do that. Oh, I can't even play Slipknot in that, that. Right, okay, well, fair enough. With EMGs, you can't play Hank Marvin. This does do Hank Marvin, but it goes right into the realms of where I want to be with a guitar. Uh, but, I mean, if anyone's got any Super Tap 6, if anyone's got uh, Super 6 pickups, or Super Tap 6 pickups, but they never ever press the button, and they go, oh, I'll give you 50 quid on my pickups, for exactly the same pickups, but untappable. Um, because tapped, tapped, you get the sound of light, which is this one. Um, I think people would know that. See if, if tapped pickups were a common thing. As far as I'm aware, I think Schecter still make them, but these are, you're talking about buying boutique things at hundreds of pounds, and... Uh, there's a Seymour Duncan quarter pounder, which I don't know if you still get it, but you used to get it, which was actually a tappable pickup. Um, that's kind of it. Coil splits, people cut, even if you look up the books, you know, in the catalogs and stuff, it says coil tap. It's not a coil tap. A coil tap is where you've got like a a single coil pickup. You wrap around it 5,000 times. You put a wee tab on and you wrap around it another 3,000 times. And you put another tab on it. So if you take the earth to the middle one, you've got like a, a 4k pickup and if you go all the way around you get like a 7k pickup for a really powerful one if that was a more common feature which it, it comes in not the blazer i've got I've, I've do, the only guitar i've ever actually owned that's got a coil tap in it which i had to fit myself was a, a yamaha sc 400 and if that was a more common thing this whole shit thing that goes on just now about people thinking that hotter is better would disappear overnight anyone who played one I reckon most people, most people, you go into the single coils, you want the cleanest, glassiest sound you can, which comes from a small, from a, from a low output pickup. So much more dynamic, and it's got that bling. And you would find that people would use that whenever they were playing clean or anything like that. Occasionally, if they were in their band or played a set and they are covering a Metallica song or something yeah by all means put it to the full power to get a little bit more with all the distortion but so there you go so take it from me even if you look up Josie Warman's uh, page he's got quite a lot of stuff like kind of just explaining the principles of pickups and how you measure them using Henry's and all this crap and how that the homage doesn't necessarily mean it doesn't mean shit really if it's made a different magnet you know I, mean, I have no idea what kind of magnets are in these. I, I basically I listen with my ears first, and if they're shit, I'll change them. But then you get shit. I mean, I do have guitars that I've got pickups in them that I don't think are right for the guitar. Aria are bad at that. Um, that urchin I was talking about, and also my ZZB. The pickups in that sound like a, like this. It's like a Strat, and it's like I'm playing something called a Blade Runner that's pointier than Satan's first stump of the day. And it sounds like a strat. I want it to be a bit more oomph. I want it to sound like that flying V. <laughs> you know, it's like... But, um... but if you want it to sound like a strat, they'll probably be amazing. You get the same thing back, going back. Even if you go back to... Um, like the West Tone, West Tone pickups. These, you know... These sort of things. The number of, You see a lot of these that people have bought... They bought that and they've upgraded to DiMarzio Super Distortions, which are, I mean, they're more than a hundred quid now, even for like a, a new one. I think if you're looking at an old one, like, I, when I bought mine, I remember finding them for three hundred pound each. Like, they were the same ones as ones I just bought for twenty quid, but uh, used. But there's no difference. 
between the Macs on well it's they're apparently Super 70s so they're basically the same as this as well although they don't look the same it doesn't have the hex poles it doesn't have it's basically it's the same pickup again it's like there is a there's a DiMarzio super distortion sound I've got a few guitars that I've got it in it and that's the pickup I, I now like but I can't tell the difference between this you know and the, the real ones that cost a lot of money um they're actually okay go for see that uh my PGM there, it's got DiMarzio, Steve Vai, Evo pickups in it. And I'll tell you right now, there's a shitload more difference between that and a Super Distortion than there is between the Super Distortion and this or any of the humbuckers that are like that from the Japanese guitars because it's a different type of pickup. No, I'm not talking about quality here, it's a different type. That, that pickup, because it's Steve Vai, is very articulate. It's the opposite of what I was talking about in the Flying V. Where it's like it's really, if you play one of the notes 10% quieter than the other notes by mistake, you hear that. Whereas that's got like a compressor, so all the notes seem to be the same volume no matter what you do. So it's much easier to play, but it's much easier. Yeah. Um, but this is the easiest guitar to play in the world. No character. I guess I suppose the point is there are no rules really, are they? You want to play jazz on a flying V? Go for it. Why not? Um, or whatever. There's a, there's, there's a certain... I always get a certain perverse pleasure. I played a telecaster and played Sabbath on it and stuff like that. No, there's any wrong with it. I'm sure, I'm sure Tony himself loves a telly. Um, so... By all means, read up all about pickups and stuff like that, but don't assume that anyone who, especially on forums, because see people who are mad into guitars and know shit, are generally not on forums. See people who know, don't know anything about guitars, but like looking up stuff and reading magazines and watching all the NAMM show footage and all this and reading up about Tonewood. Those people go on forums so they can tell everyone about what they've learnt. People who actually know don't go on forums because they just know that you're like that. Oh, I'm going to go on here and say that, oh, I'm going to say something that doesn't fit the mould and everyone's going to go mental and not know what to not, not know what to say about it. A similar sort of thing happened with um, Jen. If you've ever... Uh, does, I get banned from the... She get banned from the Telecaster group and the Stratocaster group. I was like, ah, right, why? And it's like, see, to be honest, I wouldn't join a Telecaster group or a Stratocaster group because... I can just imagine the ratio of people who play the guitar to people who are really interested in the guitar and do an awful lot of reading up on it, but don't play or listen. Ratio isn't isn't right on these things. Um, as I was up here, right? For quite much Telecaster page, so I I joined joined the, joined the Telecaster page and put a picture of me. Very simple. Hi, I'm new here. He's here's me playing my JPAX custom on on a ferry, and it's me with my stupid hat on with a. The JCAT, the, the transatlantic disaster caster up there. And it's currently sitting at 100 and, look at 150 comments, 150 likes and 30 comments since last night. And then you look at all the other things that are on that page and it's people going up here. Mm, here's my 2010 standard. And it's just like leaning against their fender amp. And it's like, it's black. Like, okay, like four lights, four likes and a comment saying, oh, I've got one the same. And the next one is up here. Here's my... And it's just basically just a picture of an amp with a Telecaster leaning against it. So, they, I mean, they're, some, some of them had like up 10, 15 likes, but coming in with something like the, the j caster, and it's like, even though she's banned from the page, put it up and it's getting hundreds of likes because it's something different and folk are terrified of something different. It's like, my God, you can't paint it? That's the object. You know, it's like, how dare you have that? And I think that was why she get banned from the page. Because, I mean, there is there's an, an argument for saying like you know okay you do i just spent four grand on a brand new vendor custom shop telecaster and then you see the one that i'm playing on the renfu ferry and you go oh, darn sight more interesting isn't it but people getting butt hurt about well i mean I, so, so you should be it's like that whole thing about what do you mean you can get things cheaper i'm a cheap bastard i don't care 
I, I don't I don't like to cause up problems. I can say what I want on this channel because you're not, none of your pain to be here or it doesn't none of this matters really. I'm not I'm not I'm not dying for any of these principles. I will change my mind if I'm given better information. Or if I work work it out for myself. But that was me, so I was just triggered the other day and I was just like, fair, I did bite my tongue, I didn't just go straight in and go, yeah, fucking useless prick. What book did you read that in? Why don't you try the pickups before you comment on them and tell someone that they're crap? Yeah, I need to go back and look at the post to see if anyone's commented on it. I also quite like the way they're stealthy on this one, has to make it look a bit more like the Alan Holdsworth. I was looking up the Alan Hold the AH10 model, and um, it's just got one humbucker. It looks the same as this, but it's just got one humbucker and nothing in the bridge, nothing in the neck and the middle. And then when you see, like, that's 1985, 1984 or 1985 he did that, and in 1986 he's got the same guitar and it's got a crudely hacksawed out bit with a DiMarcio Super Distortion in the neck, and you're like, so then he obviously decided, yeah, one pickup, one pickup, and after playing it for a while, going, can I, can I handy having a neck pickup? So then there's, a, there's an H, H10 that's got two humbuckers. Yeah. But I mean, I get the point of the single pickup again, it's the how much difference does the, the magnetic pull make? No, if this, this, if this one was the 110, is it, I think? It's basically this exact guitar, apart from it's just got the... It's got a, obviously, it doesn't have a switch, it doesn't have two single coils, it's just got a humbucker and a volume and a tone. And uh, what difference does that make to the sound of the guitar if everyone else is exactly the same? And then the argument comes in that do the magnets from these two pickups stop the strings vibrating as much and alter the sound? And... I don't know. It might a little bit. But I mean, I would just go for it. I would rather have. Just have the pickups that I've never used. I'm just have it. I only ever use the bridge pickup. Just have it left on the bridge. But it's too handy to be able to have the option. I just don't, you're not losing anything unless it's this thing about not having anything in the way. I mean, one of the arguments for that is that, you know, it's a, it means it's a solid piece of wood, but the Alan Holdsworth model was actually routed out, swimming pool routed out as a tone chamber because he liked that. This is routed out because it's got two single coil pickups on it. But then, I mean, I don't.